Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're interested on this makeup look using this Makeup Forever palette, I did a full face with it. So if you're interested, stay tuned and keep watching. So I already filled in my eyebrows, I just didn't clean them up. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into the palette, which I got the medium one. I believe there's light, medium, and dark. I got the medium one because I am in the medium range skin tone. And this is what it looks like. There's 12 different shades, which is really nice, um, especially if you want to mix it or use it on clients. So I'm just taking a concealer brush and I am going to take this shade and I'm just going to go ahead and clean up my eyebrows. And it was a lot more pigmented than I thought. It's super creamy. It's very nice. I am also taking that shade onto my eyelid to use as a primer before I add any eyeshadow. I am going in with a little bit of a darker shade just because the first shade I used was really light and I didn't expect it to be that light. So I am adding a little bit of a darker shade just to blend it in and make it a little bit more my tone but still a little bit lighter. And then I am just blending that out with a clean brush. So this is what it looks like blended out. I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my eye makeup off camera because that's gonna take some time and I'll be right back. All right, so I finished my eye makeup. I kept it pretty simple. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and take the white shade and I'm putting that under my eyes, down the bridge and tip of my nose, my cupid's bow, my chin, and a small portion of my forehead. The reason why I'm doing this is because I really want those areas highlighted and super bright before I add anything on top of it. I know it does look a little bit crazy and that's okay, but I'm gonna use a clean brush. This one's by Rare Beauty. And I'm just gonna go ahead and blend it all out. So now I'm taking this shade, this is the shade I felt best matched my skin tone as a foundation shade. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that all over my face and then I'll get a brush and blend it out. I do want a bit more coverage so I'm gonna see if I could build up the coverage and I'm just gonna go back in and add more and then blend it back out.
Now that everything's blended out, I'm gonna go ahead and go into my next step, which is basically concealer. I'm mixing a couple shades to get my desired concealer look, and I'm just gonna put that underneath my eyes, my nose, my chin, my bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, and my forehead. added concealer into those areas I am gonna let it sit there so I could have a little bit more coverage when it dries down and it blends out pretty good so after applying the concealer in these places I am gonna let it sit and then I'll move on to my next step so my next step is basically to sculpt out my face so I'm taking the darkest shade in here and this is also gonna add some warmth back into my face since it does seem like a pretty plain and blank canvas so I'm putting this basically in the areas I want to add more warmth and a little bit more sculpting so I'm adding it to my chin my cheeks my forehead and then a little bit to my nose as well So now I'm going to take a sponge and I'm just blending everything out. I'm blending out the lighter areas first so it doesn't look muddy if I blend out the darker areas. So I'm blending out the lighter areas and then I'll go in and blend out the darker areas. Also this blends out really good with the sponge and with the brush. I kind of like it a little bit more with the sponge. It kind of gives me more of a flawless natural finish and it kind of gives me a little bit more full coverage surprisingly but both work but I definitely do kind of prefer the sponge a bit better. I'm just gonna take some setting powder and I'm gonna put that in the lighter areas so down the bridge of my nose my eyes my chin my cupid's bow and my forehead I also like to add some setting powder at the front of my eyebrows just to kind of give it that faded look Right here I'm just basically cleaning up some of the lines so where my contour technically would be 
I'm just cleaning it up right there just to make it look a lot neater. Now I'm just taking a brush and I'm going to press in the product that I have on my face, so the powder. And then I'm also going to lightly tap it on the areas that I didn't have the powder, just to set it a little bit. So now that everything's blended out, I'm just going to go ahead and go off camera and contour and do blush and the rest of my makeup. So now that I finished the rest of my face makeup, I just added some mascara, blush, and contoured a little bit. I'm taking this Makeup Forever lip liner in the shade Limitless Brown and I'm just going to go ahead and line my lips. Now I'm just taking this NYX NYX lipsticks in Danity Days and I'm just putting that in the center and blending it out. Now to put on top of that I'm taking the KKW Beauty Lip Pots which they no longer have anymore because the brand is currently discontinued unfortunately but I'm just going to go ahead and put that on top of my lips as well but that's it this is the final look I hope you guys like it I highly recommend getting this palette. I think it's very nice to be creative with. But anyways, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.